this is a 10 inspiron 5010 the 19 volt is short okay i'll just show you how to check the 19 volt short just look at that look here it is taking a full ampere and the voltage goes to 3.5 now i'm disconnecting this is 19 volt input okay when i'm connecting it it is taking full ampere that means the 19 volt line is short okay first we have to confirm first we have to confirm the problem is in this daughter bow or the main board okay now i am disconnecting this okay now you will see the 19 volt is correct okay friends the 19 volt is coming the 19 volt coming from here this is a adapter socket this is coming here okay this is a daughter card okay now what i am going to do i am giving only the 5 volt supply to this input then i will check how much ampere is okay now i am giving the supply okay just look at that there is 4 ampere that means the short circuit is there now verbally you can take check that look at that when i am connecting this this is going to okay. look friends this is that you can look clearly my friends this is the pf but it's trapped that means this pf is wrong i have rectified the fault but i am showing you look here the 90 volt comes here this is the mosfet okay just now i am doing look there i am giving 5 volt this is going to be that means this is short okay look for the parts is all types of condenser anything is heating or hot you can get here this condenser is heating okay now i have shown the condenser how it is getting the short okay if i am giving the temperature it will glow is getting hot okay. if any condenser is getting hot or giving flame or giving smoke now this condenser i showed you this is getting heating up okay that means this condenser is short i'll remove the condenser and it's okay in the daughter card when you are giving the input 19 volt this is the first phase okay the line is coming here and this is the input 19 volt okay this is the second mosfet now the second mosfet output i am giving here only 5 volt it's dropping out you can see there it's a 5 volt i am giving it it's taking 4 ampere and the voltage is going to 0.7 volt okay that means this condenser is short this is a simple way how to rectify a 19 volt short circuit in the latest motherboard there uh, there is not there is a uh, they are using a uh, charging ic for the 19 volt to all board supply this is a old one of a generation uh, i mean this is a old laptop the 19 volt is going from the second mosfet but in the latest laptop the 19 volt supply goes from charging ic so be careful don't give anywhere 19 volt you can see here you will get the 100% the problem is will clear okay now i'll remove the condenser the set will be on Look at that, I have removed the condenser, okay. Now we'll check for the short circuit. Okay. This 5 volt, okay. Now I'm giving the supply. Look at that. No end here, the short circuit has gone. Okay. Here's the 19 volt come. This is the second MOSFET. I am giving the supply here. 
this line is going there this is a 19 volt line okay no short circuit is there okay friends now we will show with the meter how the condenser is short I will show you the digital meter. Look at that. On a digital multimeter. Showing. I am disconnected. It's going short. The condenser is totally short. That means it's a totally short. Okay. So friends, I am setting it to 19 volts. Okay, now I am giving the input. It's normal. Okay, now I am going to on the set. Showing you the external display because I will remove the piece. Okay, this is a simple technique how to use the 0 to 30 adapter. But in latest piece, the 19 volt supply goes through charging IC, so be careful. Okay, thanks a lot, friends. If you like the video, like it. Share it, subscribe. Thanks a lot.